गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू लेट्स स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द यूनिट फिफ्थ व्हिच इज वी हैव स्टार्टेड एंड ऑलरेडी द नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस सो आवर टुडेस पॉइंट इन केस ऑफ द रोबोटिक्स इज अ मोबाइल रोबोट हार्डवेयर एंड इन दैट टॉपिक वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द आर्किटेक्चर और द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मोबाइल रोबोट as well as the <clears throat> various kind of uh, hardware components and uh, based on the hardware component how the subsystem can be uh, described related with the mobile robot okay so uh, as already we know the mobile robot uh, is uh, replicating the human behavior and in that way we are making the robot so just like the human being uh, has to navigate the environment when he goes to the some new location so in the in the mind of or in the brain of the human being also he need to build the maps he need to make the plan and accordingly he need to proceed okay in the similar way the mobile robot also need to uh, do the navigate also need to navigate their environment in whichever environment the robot is present and also he need to build the and update its maps so map okay so whenever a configuration of the robot get change automatically uh, the robots maps also get change okay uh, accordingly and accordingly the planning uh, get done and the robot uh, perform or execute the actions okay so just like the human being is very flexible to the environment if sir if a human being goes from the one environment to the other environment accordingly a uh, human being get adapt with that kind of environment okay so same kind of uh, uh, flexibility is also available with the robot same kind of flexibility is being instilled uh, in the robot when the robot is being made so that the robot can work together with the other robots also and robot can work together with the human being also when a robot goes from one particular environment to the another environment and uh, accordingly the uh, robot also has to new, uh, learn the new thing from their experience previous historical data okay so in order to do all these kind of things which is replicating the human being and there is a necessity of high computing power so computation need to be done fastly so that only the robot can take the required action and perform the activity and for that as you can see in case of the human being there, there is a natural components are available uh, in case of the human being and that is the reason human being is having the certain kind of computing power human being can think accordingly imagine the things but in case of the robot such kind of things are not present naturally it has to be inbuilt it has to be uh, 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 put it has to be uh, instilled into the robot with the help of the some kind of hardware and the software architecture so we have to utilize some hardware and the softwares in case of the robot so that he can perform these kind of things or activity just like the human being okay so one of and it is possible uh, to make the such kind of robot uh, which can easily Uh, which can easily work in the changeable environment and uh, which can easily uh, make adapt to themselves to the change in the environment and sense the environment with the help of the various kind of sensor which are used to be there in case of the robot okay so uh, you know the environment is never used to be the constant it always used to be the dynamic environment always used to be the change from one particular situation to the other situation and whatever things are available in the environment that things has to be sensed by the robot okay and uh, in order to sense these different kind of things okay just like the human beings are having the ears nose etc so so this kind of things we can put in uh, we can uh, put these kind of things into the robot with the help of the 
sensor okay so in case of the robot there is the utilization of sensor to uh, to what we can say to sense the different kind of uh, things or the parameters from the environment okay but uh, what can happen only one sensor uh, for certain activity uh, is can uh, is uh, not considered as a sufficient okay so using only one sensor it might not be possible that uh, uh, robot will sense the all the kind of things from the environment okay so there can be utilization of more than one sensors uh, related with some single activity in case of the robot okay and uh, using that more than one sensor data is being collected and this data collected from more than one sensor is being combined together which is considered as a sensor data fusion okay so instead of uh, sensing the data using the only one sensor it will be more practical to have more than one sensor and when the data is get collected from the more more than one sensor Uh, that data is get combined and that particular thing is considered as a sensor data fusion so if the data is collected from more than one sensor then uh, uh, the particular probability of correct action is also get increase okay so as we know the different kind of sensors are having the high bandwidth okay and even if you see any powerful sensors there always used to be the uh, inevitable processing latency so what do you mean by the processing latency what is meaning of processing latency yes you must have come across this word latency number of times what do you mean by the processing latency hmm yes have you heard this word before yes or no so late late ho na manje delay okay delay. correct Haan. delay so kiti jari powerful sensors asle tari delay ma delay can always be there so if the data capturing delay is there then definitely processing happens when when data is get captured and then only the processing happens on that day okay so if the delay happens in the capturing the data then definitely the subsequent operation also get delay and so there always used to be the uh, some kind of processing delay okay so because of which the control uh, the way we the way we can control the robot the we can that control cannot be 100% uh, what we can say correct or we cannot control the robot 100% uh, accurately because of such kind of processing latency or we can uh, we can say we cannot get the 100% kind of um, uh, output from the robot because of such kind of processing latency but what we expect what we expect practically from robot that it should operate in the real time okay but if the processing latency is there then is it possible to operate the robot in the real time i hope you are getting the meaning of real time yes if the processing latency is there then is it possible to uh, to it is uh, can we expect the uh, operation from the robot in the real time no no so real time in the sense as soon as you get the data the processing should happen at that instant only without any fraction of delays understood but delay always used to be there okay in inevitable means what we cannot avoid such kind of fraction of delay that is the meaning of inevitable okay now uh, in order to uh, okay uh, to achieve these different kind of things and uh, uh, to get the output from the robot the strong hardware need to be uh, there in case of the robots okay and kind of architecture design also need to be selected accordingly okay and uh, you know the robot always used to be the process large amount of sensory data uh, in order to uh, build or you know to take the action according to the data it received from the environment okay so uh, 
because of that, uh, we need to select the kind of control architecture which will support these uh, processing tasks in the timely manner. Okay, and that is the reason uh, we used to, or the those who are designing the uh, architecture of the robot. So they used to select the kind of architecture because of which the minimum delay can be occurred. Okay, uh, the flow of information from sensing to the action should be maximized, and minimum delay can be occurred. So in order to achieve these kind of things, that uh, information should uh, uh, should get processed fastly. Flow of information, uh, flow of uh, information uh, should reach to the uh, processing component of the robot fastly. You know, if suppose if the flow of information to the processing component of a robot need to be passed fastly then sensing has to be done fastly okay because you know that in case of the dynamically change environment that there is always used to be the changes in the data very fastly and very frequently so uh, architecture uh, control architecture need to be selected accordingly so that speedily information can be passed and uh, minimum delay can be there uh, when we uh, expect some uh, response from the robot okay and accordingly the most popular kind of mobile robot uh, architecture being selected based on the uh, distributed concept so here i have mentioned so for mobile robot distributed processing architecture is the one of the good choice okay distributed processing architecture which offers number of advantage for uh, uh, coping with the various complex computation processing and for performing the quick action advantage for coping with in the sense coping meaning of the coping means uh, when we are uh, dealing with the uh, different meaning of the coping in the sense deals with something so when we are uh, when we have to perform different kind of uh, when the robot has to perform different kind of complex things processing and perform has to perform the quick action so from the lot of experiment it is being uh, find out that the distributed processing architecture is considered to be the good choice okay as compared with the other kind of architecture and uh, accordingly uh, accordingly there are the two different design principles are being utilized uh, in case of the designing the architecture of the mobile robot and one of that is the which is most popular that is the functional decomposition okay functional decomposition uh, design principle is being utilized now what exactly is this functional decomposition so it is being considered as a classical top down approach to build the robot system okay so what exactly mean by the top down why it is being referred as a top down now it is just like uh, divide and the conquer way okay divide and the conquer way in the sense the entire entire control task of the mobile robot is divided into the number of sub tasks are and then the sub tasks are implemented by the various separate module so that's why i'm calling it as it is like the divide and the conquer way okay i hope you are getting the meaning of divide and the conquer where we divide the number of, where we divide the complex task into number of sub tasks and then we uh, solve it so same thing so this architecture this design principle uh, related with the architecture of the mobile robot it is based on the same thing that is the reason it is being referred as a classical top down approach to build the system so where what is happening the entire entire control task of the mobile robot is divided into the multiple sub tasks and then in order to in order to uh, carry out this multiple sub task or in order to carry out the or complete this sub task there is a utilization of different kind of separate modules and separate components in case of the robots okay so that what are that separate modules what are that separate component that in the subsequent next part we are going to see okay so the this uh, subsequent uh, these separate modules can also be referred as a functional modules so these functional modules form a chain and through which the information flows from the environment to the robot okay so how the information flows from environment to the robot with the help of the sensors and again back to the environment via some actuators so when the information flows from the environment to the robot then with the help of the some of the components of the robot the processing of that information happens and after processing robot has to take the action so when the robot take the action that action is get performed where 
that action is get performed in the environment that is the reason here i have mentioned this functional module forms a chain through which the information flows from environment to the robot now in order to information to flow from environment to the robot there is a utilization of different kinds of sensors and when this information get processed by the processing component of the robots then again with the help of that with the help of the result of that processing action is performed by the robot within a environment with the help of the different kind of actuators so in this way this uh, uh, closing uh, feedback loop is from environment to the robot again robot to the environment okay so this scenario always continue when the robot is act, uh, doing uh, performing his activity in the environment okay so to do uh, so how these functional what what exactly are these functional modules are and what are the what are the functions of each of these functional modules how these functional modules are uh, interrelated to each other these different things we are going to see in this particular part so this is nothing but the general i hope all of you can able to see this figure yes yes sir yes sir. so this is the general architecture or uh, you can call it as a structure of the mobile robot okay which also quietly look like the robot only okay in that way it is being uh, uh, drawn where you can see the different functional modules are shown there and each of the functional modules are being uh, quietly uh, interconnected with each other so you can see here this is the vision head then the, this is the laser scanner this is the lica controller lap this is the these are the sonar rings this is the resolver component motors wheels okay encoder motors vc board etc etc okay so uh, these things this with the point i am telling you ki functional decomposition principle is uh, utilized uh, for the uh, architecture of the robot mag tya functional decomposition madhe which functional modules are there so this functional modules are there. so within this each functional module the particular uh, uh, what we can say uh, whatever task has to be performed by the robot that task is divided into the these different sub modules so automatically that when the task is get divided into the different sub modules that task become the sub task okay so what we have to see now what exactly these different functional module do okay and how the robot uh, work by using these different kind of components okay so in that uh, firstly we have this on this topic most time most of the time question ask on the explain the mobile robot hardware or the structure of the mobile robot so this diagram is very important and uh, uh, the kind of textbook you refer in textbook uh, there is only diagram is given no explanation of such kind of component is given so uh, you can uh, afterwards you can write down this uh, uh, what exactly these components are for utilized okay Uh, now let's see we'll discuss uh, one by one about each of these component so firstly we have the lica controller this is this is the lica controller okay so it is its long form is the local intelligent control agent what local intelligent control agent okay so it is here i mentioned its functionality is very simple it is just like the brain of the robot now what the brain of the human being does now whatever processing is happen it is happen with the help of our brain okay now it consists of the various number of processors you know the if the processing has to be done always there is a utilization of the processor so this lica controller consists of multiple number of processors okay so it is used to collect the information from various input devices such as the sensors sonar rings what exactly the sonar rings are? okay we will discuss but you can just see you can see this to this lica controller different uh, other components are attached and that is the reason here i have mentioned it used to collect the information from various input devices such as the sensor sonar rings etc etc and then uh, it execute the program okay and uh, in according to that it control the various other output devices like uh, motors light actuators etc etc 
so after it receive the information it does the processing of that information and after processing of that information it performs some action and that action is performed with the help of the different output devices like motors light actuators etc etc so uh, we can say it we can can we call it as a sensor interpreter yes can we call the lic a controller as a sensor interpreter yes sir because it is interpreting the whatever the uh, information it receive from the different kind of sensor so also we can also we can consider it as a interface for the external sensor and motors etc etc so this is the main component this is the main component of what we can say structure of the robot okay or architecture of the robot where uh, it does the where its function is what it uh, accept the information process the information and according to that the action is being performed by the other output devices so this is the first component understood this one yes sir then next we have the motor here you can see now motor what what for what for the motor is utilized yes uh, along with moving. the motor moving movement you know to do the any what? kind of movement there is a utilization of motor so along with the motor there is a utilization of another component that is the actuator also which is not shown here but if, if they have shown just the motor it is okay so motor here i have mentioned it is used to actuate something in your robot actuate something means it make the robot to perform some kind of activity okay so it is used to actuate the wheels actuate the wheels manje kay it is responsible for the movement of the wheels tracks arms legs and weapons also if the robots can we attach the weapons to the robot Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. We can also attach the weapons to the robot. Understood. So movement of that weapons for all these things, the motor is there. Yes. Okay. And what kind of now motor? There are the different kinds of motors are there. AC motors are there. DC motors are there, etc., etc. But special kind of servo DC motors are utilized. Servo direct current motors are utilized. in the robots to ensure the correct positioning and the movement okay keep in mind in the most of the robots servo dc motors are being utilized this this point will be helpful for you okay for your general knowledge also what kind of motors are being utilized in the robots servo servo dc motors are being utilized okay so this is the uh, second uh, functional module or the component we can see then next we have the sonar ring uh, okay it's sonar ring it stands for the sound navigation and the ranging uh, in the physics you must have heard about this device okay sonar ring device which stands for sound navigation and the ranging okay so it is a kind of a technical device which we uh, utilize uh, as a sound propagation okay which uses the sound propagation now uh, particularly these devices are being utilized uh, for the ships jahaza madhe this kind of devices are being utilized okay where uh, uh, with the help of the sound propagation with the help of the sound under water with the help of the sound propagation navigation and the communication can be done okay also with the help of the sound propagation the detection of the object if the, whether the object is on the surface of the water or object is within the water that object can be detected with the help of the these sonar ring devices okay so this kind of devices can also be utilized in the robot okay for the purpose of what detection of the object sound propagation means what okay sound propagation uh, so if there is a some particular object is there okay with the help of the sound propagation with the help of the sound propagation some rays are being released and when they they 
if there is a, some object is there somewhere in the water or in the environment that uh, sound get uh, okay that sound get stuck with this object and then automatically if this if this sound gets stuck with this object automatically from that it can be concluded that there is a, some obstacle is there some object is there okay so there are uh, multiple number of such kind of sonar devices are connected uh, to the lica controller you can see here these are all the sonar ring uh, sonar rings which are being connected to the uh, lica controller so its sonar ring job is what with the help of the sound release or with the help of the sound propagation it helps for the navigation to find the direction or it helps for the communication purpose uh, and uh, uh, for the purpose of the detection of the any obstacle is there on the way of uh, robot or any obstacle there in the way of the uh, ship okay so for that for in case of our, our robot main activity is being performed with the help of the sonar ring is also the same navigation and detection of the object okay so uh, this uh, sonar ring can also be utilized in the robots if we have the robots which is being utilized uh, on the surface of water or if if you have the robot which will be utilized under the water also then these kind of devices are being utilized okay understood the sonar ring yes sir then fourth one we have the laser scanner that you can see here okay on the lic controller the laser scanner is attached so you know the laser scanner is being uh, it has the capability to penetrate through the uh, physical uh, things also so it can pen penetrate through the walls also penetration means what yes what do you mean by the penetration sir so r par okay so it can go out of some uh, physical devices okay it can yes. uh, okay so that is the meaning of the penetrate so this these devices you can see here is attached on the lica controller so main utilization of this laser scanner is to uh, take the distance measurement what for the purpose of distance measurement uh, from all the direction now it is help to the robot to determine where exactly robot is present yes or no for the positioning of the robot to know the j questions upon kal bagitle how the robot will know where actually he is present so to know that all these kind of things different these different functional modules are uh, utilized i hope you are getting correct or not yes sir so in order to measure the distances from different direction there is utilization of this laser scanner so this kind of scanner can rapidly capture the surface shape of the object any kind of object building landscape whatever kind of object is there it can, it is able to capture the shape of that objects also and it can able to measure the distance also so with the help of this laser scanner we can get the exact size and the shape of the objects also we can get the distance measurement from the different direction uh, for the robots okay so this is the fourth one that is the laser scanner then next we have the vision head okay you can see here uh, vision head is there it is just like the camera so it is for the visual guidance of the robot for what purpose for the visual guidance of the robot so it is it uses the camera as a vision head okay barobar na robot la you know for the just like we are having our eyes okay so for that you know to perform the functionality of the eyes it is having the vision head okay so for this is being utilized for the visual guidance of the robot and it uses the camera for that and it gives the capability to the robot to visually perceive the environment and use this information for the execution of the different kind of task so its utilization is mainly for the robot navigation as well as for the obstacle 
avoidance so vision aid is mostly important for the purpose of the navigation purpose as well as for the purpose of obstacle avoidance purpose also okay so this you can see this is being also attached to the other components which are being there okay so this is the vision head then next uh, we have the robot encoder okay robot encoder so you can see here robot encoder is there okay and you can see it is being attached to the motors and again motors is being attached to the wheels okay so here i have mentioned these are sensors which are attached to the rotating objects such as wheels motors so what for what purpose this is being required so this is being utilized uh, for the purpose of measurement of the rotations okay for what purpose measurement of the rotations now by measuring the rotation what what for what purpose the rotation need to be the measure yes from that what can be uh, what uh, what conclusion can be made by measuring the rotations of the motors or the wheels etc etc yes with the help of the measuring the rotations of the wheels motors what conclusion can be made by the robot Hmm. So by measuring the rotation, can it help us for the measuring the speed? That is the acceleration. Yes or no? Can the speed yes, determination? Sir, speed. Yes, yes, speed yes. determination can be done by measuring the rotations of these uh, wheels, motors, etc. same thing i have mentioned here by measuring the rotations robot can do the things such as determining the displacement velocity acceleration angle of the rotation etc etc so for that purpose there is a uh, robot encoder is there you can see okay so this is the uh, sixth component in case of the uh, uh, structure of the robot that is the robot encoder then next we have the resolver you can see the resolver here okay so resolver it is a like a electromagnetic device okay which convert the mechanical motion into the electrical signal okay and uh, so resolver is the type of the rotatory electrical transformer which is used for the measuring the degree of the rotations at which degree the rotations are happening so this actually helps to the uh, robot encoder also resolver so resolver functionality is what to convert the mechanical motion into the electrical signals and uh, to measure the degree of the rotation what is the degree of the rotation so that is nothing but the functionality of the uh resolver component that you can see here okay then next we have the lep that you can see here uh, which stands for the lateral effect photodiode okay lateral effect now this kind of device is usually uh utilized in the docks docks means what yes dora hmm dhaga dora Man, docks is another word for the ship jahaz docks is another word for the ship Sheep. so in the ship this kind of device is generally utilized now for what purpose it is for the purpose of detecting the close objects means the object which is which are very close to the ship which can be also considered as obstacle also so for the purpose of detecting the close objects which is very near uh, to the ship and which is making the movements 
so for the purpose of uh, uh, detection of that kind of object there is a utilization of these lateral effect photodiode devices so here i have mentioned this kind of device is generally utilizing the docks for the close object or obstacle detection to avoid the any kind of collision collision in the sense yes collision means what collision धड़क धड़क टक्कर तर अदर डिवाइसेस फॉर द ऑब्स्टिकल डिटेक्शन बट समाइम्स इट माइट हैपन कि लॉन्गर डिस्टेंस ऑब्जेक्ट माइट बी गेट डिटेक्टेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द सोनार रिंग्स एंड अदर काइंड ऑफ व्हाट यू कैन से द लेजर स्कैनर एटसेट्रा बट इट माइट हैपन सम सम क्लोज ऑब्जेक्ट्स व्हिच आर और ऑब्स्टिकल व्हिच आर वेरी क्लोज टू द शिप इट माइट नॉट बी पॉसिबल टू डिटेक्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ सच अदर डिवाइसेस वेयर दिस काइंड ऑफ एलईपी लैटरल इफेक्ट फोटोडायोड्स आर बीइंग यूटिलाइज्ड so just like it is being utilized in the docks or the ships so this kind of devices can also be utilized in the robot also okay for the purpose of close range object detection very which are very close to the robots okay which might not be get detected by the other devices so that close range object can be detected with the help of the uh, lateral effect uh, photodiode kind of devices okay so with the help of this all the kind of uh, what we can say the um, components the this our particular robot structure forms and accordingly the uh, robot perform the different kind of activity okay now from this uh, all the you can see the combination of various hardwares like physical components that we have seen okay so we can say, we can say the mobile robot is the combination of various kind of hardware physical devices plus software computational components the software computational components we have not seen up till okay that in the further section we have but we have seen these are the different kind of uh, what are the different kind of hardware physical uh, devices are there okay so in terms of the hardware components now we on the basis of these all the hardware components that just we have discussed regarding the mobile robot uh, we can divide that uh, structure of the mobile robot into the four sub systems okay on the basis of hardware components we have discussed we can divide the uh, robot structure into the this four sub systems okay means what we are trying to divide the uh, activity performed by the robots okay uh, as a group as a what we can say uh, as a sub system okay so on the basis of hardware components we have these four sub system related with the mobile robot okay in that first sub system we have that is the uh, locomotion what do you mean by the yes sir ओके सो जे आपण हार्डवेअर कंपोनेंट्स डिस्कस केले तर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट द मोबाईल रोबोट इज कंसीडर एज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ सम सब सिस्टम्स व्हिच आर दैट सब सिस्टम्स आर दिस ओके इन दैट फर्स्ट वन यू कैन सी लोकोमोशन सो लोकोमोशन मींस व्हाट सो दिस सब सिस्टम इज रिलेटेड विथ व्हाट movement movement so here i have mentioned locomotion sub system specify how the robot moves through its environment so for the purpose of locomotion we have seen the other number of components like it utilize the motors wheels etc etc okay so these things comes under this uh, sub system as a locomotion then sensing sensing is nothing but what measuring the 
parameters from the environment yes or no sensing is yes, measuring the properties of the environment so here i mentioned it mainly shows the robot measure the properties of itself and its environment so for that purpose there are the different kind of sensors are being utilized in the next part we are going to see which are the different kind of sensors are being utilized okay so that is the another sub system sensing okay then we have the reasoning so reasoning specify how the robot map the measurement into the action so in the measuring we have the component lic a controller yes or no what the lic a controller does lic a controller receive the information process that information and accordingly the action is get performed by the other components so that is the reason here i have mentioned reasoning is what reasoning reasoning sub system of the uh, robot is what it specify how the robot map the measurement into the action mapping the measurement into the action means what what do you mean by this mapping the measurement into the action yes hmm mapping the measurements into the action so sensors ni jo data manje parameters getle tyachavar tyachi action depend hai correct j j information the information which is received through the different kind of sensors and other devices with the help of that information the action which action to be chosen that is being specified by the this reasoning sub system you know there is utilization of lic a controller for that so that is the reason here i mentioned it specify how the robot map map the meaning is how the robot convert that measurements into the action meaning of the measurement received information and last uh, sub system we have that is communication it specify how the robot communicates with an outside operators so you know for the robot to communicate with the outside operator now can be the user consider as outside operator yes or no yes sir so how the robot can communicate with the outside operator then you know there is utilization of remote control there is utilization of text interface etc etc i hope you must have seen the robot demonstration with the help of the remote control yes with the help of the remote control we can control the robot bagitla nahi asa tumhi kadhi yes okay if not you can see this kind of videos on the youtube okay so that is the in this in the with the help of these different kind of things the communication with the robots can be done or the robot can be communicate with the outside operators okay text interface i said text interface manje kay ki jar tumcha room madhe robots asel and it is being connected with the computer system so with the help of the keyboard also you can give the instruction to the robot yes or no yes sir so that is the communication sub system okay so these are the different things related with the mobile robot hardware and the structure of the mobile robot okay and uh, sub system related with the components of the mobile robots okay so this is the 10 to 12 question uh, 12 marks questions can be asked on these topics where the different uh, where four marks question can be also asked on the uh, mobile robot uh, sub system okay and 10 marks can be asked on the structure of the mobile robot with with this diagram etc correct so that's it uh, from the today's session remaining we will continue in the next part okay okay sir okay thank you all of you thank you sir